video is on the integers using residues. So in today's video, we are going to find out the poles of the function z by cos z. Next one, cot z. And next one, 1 by z plus 1 into z plus 3. First of all, in order to find the singularities of a function, what we have to do? So in the solution 1, see here in the solution 1, first function f of z is given as z by cos z. So, in order to find the singularities, we have to equate the denominator to 0. So, if we equate the denominator to 0, cos z is equal to 0. Usually, when cos z will be 0? At 90 degrees. See here, not only at 90 degrees, but also at the odd powers, multiples of odd powers of 90 degrees. See, z is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. So, n being 0 or any integer. So, if you keep n is equal to 0, see here, if you keep n is equal to 0, this will be 90 degrees. If you keep n is equal to, for example, 1, so this will be 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2 and so on. So, n being 0 or integers. So, these are all the simple poles. So, these, so which are all the simple poles of f of z? See here, the poles are z is equal to 2n plus y into pi by 2, n being 0 or an integer. Next one, in the second question, see here, what is second question here is cot z. So, for cot z, how we can write, so this is the solution for cot z. f of z is equal to cot z. f of z can be written as cos z by sin z. So, in order to find the singularities, again, we have to equate the denominator to 0. So, sin z is equal to 0. So, when usually sin z will be 0? At sine 0 is 0. So, here at 180 degrees, it's 0. So, z is equal to n pi. Usually, when you keep n is equal to 0, n is equal to 1, 2, 3. So, all the multiples of. So, here all the multiples of pi. See, this is 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi and so on. So, n pi. So, sine z will be 0. So, n being 0 or an integer. So, which are all the simple poles of f of z. For cos, cot z, see here, we have to equate the denominator to 0, sin z is equal to 0, z is equal to n pi. So, n pi, where n being 0 on an integer. So, if you keep n is equal to 0 or plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3 and so on. So, sin z will be 0. So, here f of z, all the simple poles are nothing but z is equal to n pi. See here, z is equal to n pi for cot z and z is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by pi by 2 are all the simple poles of f of z n being 0 or an integer and next one the third question here is see that is also so simple so 1 by see solution 3 first solution 3 so f of z is given as 1 by this is z plus 1 into again z plus 3 so, in order to find the poles, we have to equate the denominator to 0. So, this is z plus 1 into z plus 3 is equal to 0. So, here if you equate z plus 1 to 0 and again z plus 3 to 0, so z is equal to minus 1, here z is equal to minus 3. Therefore, for the function f of z, z is equal to minus 1, comma minus 3 are the simple poles. See here, are the simple poles. See, again, we have to find the residues of this function. In order to find the residues of the function, that is also so simple. See here, residue of f of z at point z is equal to minus 1 is nothing but, see here, limit z tends to minus 1, z plus 1 into, this is f of z. See here, this is limit z tends to minus 1, z plus 1 into, what is f of z here? So, f of z is nothing but 1 by z plus 1 into z plus 3. So, this is 1 by, this is z plus 1 into z plus 3. So, we have to cancel this z plus 3 and again we have to substitute minus 1 in place of z. So, this will be minus 1 plus 3 which is equal to half. So, half is our residue at the point z is equal to minus 1. So, at this point z is equal to minus 1, the residue point is nothing but half. And again, so we have to find the residue at the point minus 3, z is equal to minus 3. 
see here residue of f of z f of z at point z is equal to minus 3 is nothing but see here limit z tends to minus 3 z plus 3 into f of z see this will be limit z tends to minus 3 z plus 3 into what is f of z f of z is nothing but see i am showing 1 by z plus 1 into z plus 3 so this is 1 by this is z plus 1 into z plus 3 if i cancel this z plus 1 and substitute z as minus 3 so this will be minus 3 plus 1 so this is minus half therefore the residue of f of z at point z is equal to minus 3 is nothing but minus half at z is equal to minus 3 we got the residue of f of z as minus half and at the point z is equal to minus 1 we got the residue as plus half so here these are all the most important questions repeatedly asked questions please don't uh, miss this video see here this is also so simple so in order to find the poles we have to equate the denominator to 0 so cos z is equal to 0 and cos z is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 so which are all the simple poles of f of z and f of z is equal to cos z cot cot z can be written as cos z by sin z and again we have to Equate the denominator to 0, sin z is equal to 0, z is equal to n pi. So, here n values are 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2 and so on. n being 0 or an integer and which are all the simple poles of f of z. And for the third question solution, see here, f of z is equal to 1 by z plus 1 into z plus 3. We have to equate the denominator to 0 here. So, here minus 1, minus 3 are the simple poles. So, in order to find the residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 1, limit z tends to minus 1, z plus 1 into, we have to eliminate this z plus 1 from the function. So, here f of z into z plus 1 into 1 by z plus 1 into z plus 3. After cancellation, we have to substitute z value as minus 1. So, here plus half is the value. So, residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 3. Again, limit z tends to minus 3, z plus 3 into f of z. That is z plus 3 into 1 by z plus 1 into z plus 3. So, if you substitute z as minus 3, so this will be minus half is the residue value. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, you know what to do. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to this channel and support. Thank you so much.